spectacular. <laughs> Hello, so we're out on a little after work hike here up in the Three Sisters Wilderness. Got a special permit to hike Broken Top and we're not really sure if it's gonna happen. We are so close. As you can see out behind me, there's a thunder cell coming in. So we're gonna see how far we can get. Watch the rain, watch the lightning. May have to make a call. Let's see. That's no joke. Okay, so we just had some lightning like a couple miles away. We're gonna call it from now. We're not too far from the trailhead, so we may have a chance to restart if the storm doesn't come through. But one of those better safe than sorry situations. And that thunderhead is close and it is something. Put your camera on lightning detection mode. Give it as one. While we're waiting back at the truck for this storm to pass, let's talk through a few logistical considerations for this hike. Broken Top is a part of the Central Cascades Wilderness Permit System. Permits need to be booked online in advance and they can be very hard to get. The road to the trailhead is also notoriously rough. Sharp rocks and deep whoops like these make it very challenging for low clearance two wheel drive cars. Subarus and similar all-wheel drive crossovers can usually manage it all right with some careful driving. For high clearance trucks and SUVs like Adam's FJ and my Tundra, it's just plain fun. Views on the way up are also pretty spectacular. Storm has cleared up a bit. Now it mostly seems to just be rain. It's been a while since we've heard thunder. So I think we're gonna give it another go. Um, have a little smoke rolling in, probably from the fire over at Waldo Lake, so I want to keep an eye on that too. But not not too much of an issue. Benefit of long wags right here. How's your butter sandwich going, Carl? It's very delicious. But I gotta eat it carefully so I don't inhale it. Puffing up, puffing up the hill. <laughs> hard enough to breathe up here. Oh, that's ominous. Time for the steepest climb of the hike. After quite a bit of doubt with the weather storm coming in, not sure if we're gonna even make it here in time before dark, I'd say the wait was worth it. Pretty amazing to be able to do this after work too. It's one of the great uh, joys of living here in Central Oregon. After all that effort, we made it to our big reward. Here we are, <laughs> on top of Broken Top, looking yeah. at the sisters. Carl, Alex, and Adam. And Dylan. And Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> now here's, here's, she tight to the phone. Oh, yeah. There's Broken Tom. That does not suck. That does not suck. <laughs> yeah. And then you can see oh, yeah. the lake. I'm 
Unfortunately, it's time to head back, but that was pretty spectacular. Done this hike several times before, pretty great each time, but sunset views, the weather coming in over the Cascades, yeah, it's amazing. If you get the opportunity to do this, I definitely would. Really, really glad that we stuck it out, waded through the rain, didn't get deterred by the smoke because this turned out to be pretty choice. see the Cedar Creek fire in the distance there, just a little white puff in the middle. <laughs> Last major obstacle. So we're back at the truck now at the trailhead, but our journey is not over yet since we still have to get home. And as you can see, it is very dark. Nice opportunity to test out our truck lighting. We parted ways with Adam as he turned south on the road that we came in on. Back to Bend via Cascade Lakes Highway. Carl, Alex, and I opted for the more adventurous route back to Sisters. This extremely primitive road skirts the edge of the Three Sisters Wilderness area and includes several small creek crossings. These woods were incredibly dark and I was very glad to have extra lighting to get us through the deep whoops and tight turns. After nearly an hour, we hit the paved road leading to our small mountain town, bringing one hell of an after work adventure to its conclusion. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. And as always, stay wild.